I'd like to start thanking Jesus because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be sitting here. <clears throat> Almost two years ago, I moved to Alabama. Had a job, but things come back into my life. It wasn't of God. And I found myself homeless. And through the homeless and living a sinful life, I found myself up under a train. Shouldn't be sitting here today. But the Lord was drawing me back to him, gave me an opportunity to climb back off from under a train and give me an opportunity to go to Dothan Rescue Center in a wheelchair, gave me the strength to pull myself up and give him the praise as far as I was sitting in the wheelchair. And through that time, I got disability and moved in the in-town suite, and I've been coming here to harvest around God's body of believers. And through all of that, learning more about the love of Jesus, I found that being around other believers, it got to give you a chance and change your life. Don't know why he touched my life, but he said he said, said he come to save that which was lost. And I think it he come to me. There's many out there deserve healing more than I deserved it. But he loves us all the same, and he gives us faith. And I thank him, and I have seen it with my brothers and sisters here in Alabama because I give up on a Christian life and walking for him. But his love was there so much. I know a man, Ken, and them. I watched them from the woods and stuff. And I seen them doing the works of Christ. Not talking it, but walking it and living it. And it drawed me back to Christ. And I keep hearing his word and hearing his word. And I was in a service just the other night. The same man, still preaching Jesus and the healing of Jesus. He goes all the way back to my life before I first accepted the Lord and services that I was in. Talked about the power of healing of Jesus, if you believe. And I sat in those services. I looked around, and I seen people sitting there. It was kids when I was in my 20s. And the Lord just kept speaking to me, speaking to me. And I sat back here in the harvest every Sunday morning, watching God bless, watching people smile. And I don't know if they see me smile, but there was a joy in my heart. <clears throat> and I left that service Friday night. A brother went with me, Steve King did. And he heard him talking of the miracles and stuff that God done in Africa and all of that. And I said, Lord... I'm just sitting there listening to all of this, praying myself. I said, Lord, you just same God over here and over there. You know, I'm just talking and asking God. So when I left there, I felt condemned, you know. When I sat in my apartment, I laid there and prayed and prayed all Friday night long. I said, Lord, you've done many things, and I've failed you in so many ways. Well, you give me an opportunity to even see miracles and all of this. And I ain't believe. I said, I tell people, you heal me. And I said, at that time, I got up Saturday morning, late, put my feet over my bed, and I asked the Lord. He just seemed like he spoke to me. He said, you believe everything you've seen? I said, yes, Lord. He said, you believe it I could heal? I said, yes, Lord. He said, how come you ain't walking? And I got up off of my bed, you know, pulled myself up, and I could stand up, and I went to cry. I went to my room, bathroom, walked around my wheelchair, hopped in my shower, took a bath, got out, and called Sister Martha and Ken, because that was the first ones I called when I got run over by a train. And they was all excited. And I just want to let y'all body of believers know out there, if you want to see love, you need to come to the body of Christ and find it because he's out here and he's got a blessing for you and me and 
it's undescribable. I can't tell you all in words. I wished I could explain why it happened to me, but I can't. Only thing I could tell you, he loves you and he loves me. And if we listen to his word and apply it to our life and lift up the Son of God and draw near unto him, and he'll draw near unto us. And I can give him the praises and the glory for it by his name, Jesus. I thank y'all for this opportunity for me to give the Lord the praises and glory for all things.